activate all of Windows features, head on over to whokeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $16.93. That is a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 25% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. Alternatively, by clicking here, you can follow their step-by-step -step guide. You can now enjoy all of Windows features. G'day guys, welcome back to another BTS. Today, we are here with the Cooler Master Master Frame 700. This PC right here was built to highlight this Aorus Extreme Z690 Water Force motherboard, which we just got our hands on. So we decided to build a super high-end system featuring the motherboard and an RTX 3090 GPU. The GPU, however, was meant to be an RTX 3080, but that had an active backplate on it and it doesn't fit in this particular motherboard. We also have some DDR5 memory from Corsair and the whole system is fully water-cooled. We've got some thermal take radiators, thermal take fittings, we've got some EK FLT resers. Uh, each side is a separate loop, so one for the GPU and one for the CPU. And we've got our custom sleeve cables, which look absolutely fantastic. Amelia, what do you think about the system? I'm so glad you used this case again. Yes, uh, I always like how this turns out. I I love like having all of the tubes nice and parallel going down to the bottom. We made the plates down the bottom uh, for all of the tubes to go through, and so it just made for a nice clean look uh, in the end. So that's pretty much all for this system. Uh, any any final words, Amelia? It's now RGB. <laughs> it's now it is now RGB. It wasn't RGB before, but <laughs> this system is going to be getting taken apart today. So we hope you all enjoyed this build. We appreciate your support, guys. So this old dusty build right here is our Corsair 5000T <laughs> case, one of Corsair's brand new cases that just came out, and we thought we'd do a. A little build in there, it's kind of like a... It's, so it's got a 3050 and an i5 12600K CPU. And I decided to do some water cooling. It's very overkill in the water cooling for this CPU. Uh, I decided to put a 3050 in there because we haven't really tried to do a build that's a little bit more budget friendly. So I thought, you know, why not give it a go and do it in this build? That's what we did. What, what do you think about the build? Makes me thirsty. Is that juice? Orange juice. Orange juice. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we used the Corsair frosted tubes inside here. I actually really like the frosted yeah, tube look. I love that look too. Um, and we hadn't done an orange build for a while, but because the GPU had like orange accents on, I thought, okay, orange liquid, that would go real nice in the system. And that's what we ended up doing. So yeah, we've also got the Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM in white as well. It's DDR5 RAM. And I forget what motherboard, I think it's the Asus Z690 Hero from memory. So that also went in there. If I did have a white motherboard at the time, I would have used a white one. Um, and also would have used a more budget friendly one. But unfortunately, this was pretty much our low, lower end one that we had at the time. That's pretty much it for this build. I mean, we've got Corsair water cooling in there. We've got uh, Corsair power supply white as well um, which goes real nice in the gap let me know what you guys think about the new corsair 5000t down in the comments the case actually has the same internals as the 5000d and the 5000x the difference between the two cases is we have leds up the top and down the bottom back and front for a bit of ambient lighting and then you've also got the curvature of the panel itself whereas the 5000X and 5000D they're, they're more square and they don't really have that ambient lighting. Let me know in the comments guys. Okay this is the Leon Lee O11 Dynamic Evo case, one of the brand new cases from Leon Lee. I wonder if this will become as popular as the uh, regular O11 or the O11XL. With this particular case, you can mount the motherboard uh, upside down, you can vertical mount the GPU, a lot of options. There's a bit more airflow in this one. There's still glass up the top, um, out the front, but up the top you also have a mesh grill as well. Inside of here, however, I would consider this probably a uh, mid to high end system. It's got a RTX 3070 Ti, from ASUS, it's the Strix version. We've got a 12700KF CPU inside, lots of RGB, 
I know Amelia likes <laughs> RGB. What do you think about the RGB, Amelia? My favorite. I love this thing. It's kind of hard to capture on the camera. Oh, the I GPU support that. bracket. It's got a little screen on it too. Can you do cool. what you want with that screen? Yeah, so you should be able to put like GIFs and, and things like that on there. So it's pretty cool. We That's didn't awesome. we haven't got it configured yet, but um, at the moment stock it's just got like the ROGI and stuff like that on there. And the fans, do you like these fans? Oh yeah, they're sleek. Cool thing about them is they have kind of like a daisy chain sort of design where they all click together and then you get the power and um, the RGB through two cables instead of so many cables coming to the back which means it's not a spaghetti of cables at the back of the case. And then we have the, I, I have no idea how to pronounce it but it's Asus's uh, all in one cooler. It's their brand new one. That's also got a screen on it's it. It's so fancy. <laughs> so, yeah. There's not much more to say about this apart from the Asus Hero Z690 motherboard. Then we've got some Kingston Fury RAM. Uh, that RAM doesn't have any RGB on it, so it's it's kind of just a plain kit, but it does the job. It's kind of like an all black design with RGB. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna be pulling this build apart, guys. So thank you all for your support. And until next time. And this, ladies and gentlemen, for our last build for this series is our fractal design matrix inspired themed PC. We teamed up with Aorus and the Matrix and mwave.com.au to create a matrix inspired themed build red pill versus blue pill so that's kind of why we have the two separate loops with the blue liquid and the red liquid and then of course so got the uh, custom plates that we made as well with red pill versus blue pill and then of course on the back plate we've got red and blue um, with the Aorus logo and we achieved these by simply spraying some red on and then some blue on and it kind of uh, overlapped and just created that nice gradient into the other color Inside, I believe it's the RTX 3080 from Aorus, the Aorus Master. I can't quite recall the specs, it's been quite a while. I know we have a, I think it's an 11700K, I believe. I don't think it's 12th gen yet. Let me have a quick look. It is 12th gen, so we've got a 12700K inside. And that's pretty much all I've got about the build. What do you think about the build, Amelia? I love the dual loop. Yes. Two colors. Ah, yes. Yep, that's my favorite part. Yep, we've also got the Leon Lee fans. Again, these have pretty much been in majority of our builds lately because they're so, so simple to use. There's only two cables coming out of them, so you don't have that spaghetti mess at the back of the PC. Overall, I think it turned out really nice, and it's now time to take this apart. Anyway, guys, we appreciate your support. Thank you so much to you Patreon and YouTube members for all the support. Because you guys were able to form materials and paint and, and everything to get these PCs as custom as possible, and we thank you very much for that. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave the YouTube and Patreon uh, links down in the description. We appreciate your support, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.